Karen Jean from Ex Libris Crafts. Welcome back to the channel. This is part two of my Dollar Tree inspired journal. So this is this is where we are. I have the signature sewn in. Um, let me show you what I've done. Signature sewn in. I covered the front and back with that green paper from that one paper pad. These are Dollar Tree um, note cards. I really like the colors. So I put one, one on the front and one on the back, right? Pockets and journaling space there. The signature covers are the Dollar Tree poster board. So this is uh, obviously an envelope. I don't remember where I got it from. This is paper I found at a thrift store. I remember the book is supposed to be green and brown or green and brown are supposed to be the main colors. So let's let's see. So there's just a piece of um, 65 pound card stock. This is from uh, when I was at Staples not that long ago, looking for something, I forget what. I saw this oops, composition book. 100 sheets, uh, grades K to the second. They have one for different grades, so the paper is different in each of them. And um, I loved it. I, it was, I don't know, a few bucks. I saved the cover because look how fun. And uh, so I put some of that in here. That's fun. Uh, this is a little book. I actually got this at Dollar Tree. I pulled it apart. Mother Goose Rhymes. Some of them are really horrible. I mean, when you look at this, we all know Jack and Jill went up the hill, fetch pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And what he broke his crown, what he did was he hit his head on a rock and cracked his head open. Hor horrible Mother Goose rhymes. But anyway, uh, this is obviously ledger paper. This is from the Baby Shark uh, calendar. And I glued it down to actually just a piece of uh, 12 by 12 paper, not card stuff, just to give it some more stability. I have a book of uh, children's children's songs. Got that out of their stuff too. Here's a journaling card, another one of those papers, the back of the card. Oh, what is this the signature center? Did I miss the signature center? I did. This is the signature center. I recently bought this from Amazon. It's waxed thread. They use this in leather making. Uh, just to see how I like it. Um, so far, I, I like it. It seems to be doing a really secure hold. Anyway, so, and here we have the back. Back of the signature. More rhymes. And there. And now we have the second signature. There's three signatures in this book. So... Music paper, line sheet, another card, another baby shark. Here's this envelope. Another Mother Goose book page. Paper, that, the center of this signature. And I know what I'm going to be doing with these brown sheets. Um, and I will share that with you when I'm done. And then here we have the rest of the signature. Boom. And I'll also show you some things I've pulled out. And here's the third signature. Okay. Ledger paper, lined paper, note card. There. These note cards are from Michael's. They're hot buys. I bought them, of course, last summer. I bought so much of my stuff last summer. Um... So they're like, came 50 in the box, I think. It might be even more, and it was when you buy one and get two free. So it was rather inexpensive. And I like them because the backs of them, there's nothing on the backs of them. Whereas with the regular note cards, you have stuff on the back. So there's that. Here's this envelope flip out. See, here's the back of the note card. It's just a plain note card. Nothing on it, which I like. And there's the end of that signature. Uh, in the last video, I showed you this, which I'm going to glue down onto the front. 
And what I'm going to glue down onto the back is, this is just a large envelope that I had to cut down a little bit to make it fit. It was probably like a nine by 12 and I had to make it eight and a half by, I kept the 12. Put a little hook and loop closure there. So just put some masking tape on there just so you can throw some important papers or whatever in there, but it's a really big pocket there. And the same like the other one, I just glued down a little bit of the ribbon and then covered that with masking tape. Boom. Now, and when I glue this down, I could glue the whole thing down. See, I did put corners on the book to reinforce the corners. I could glue the whole thing down or I could just glue down three sides and leave that for a pocket, but I think I'm gonna glue the whole thing down, give it a little stability. So that's for the front and for the back. Okay, let me put that aside for the moment and let me show you what else I have here. As I was going through my stuff, oh, the dog making me crazy today, making me crazy. I was able to organize because I had such a big pile, so I cleaned up. I always have this on hand. Um, I get it from Amazon, and I like it, especially like in a baby book. I put it on the side. It could be used as like a growth chart, so that's always fun. This is a card. It's a Hallmark card, but I actually got this one at Walmart. But I was thinking of putting this... Perhaps right there. Hello. Um, thinking about doing that. These here are little tickets. I either got these at Michael's on clearance or at um, Target. I'm pretty sure they came from Michael's, though, when Michael's was having their clearance on school stuff last year, summer or the fall. So just tickets to have fun with. This is a library card. I always have library cards. I used to put them in all my journals and I stopped doing that and I don't know why. Um, and I ordered from Amazon um, just to see these, these library card pockets, right? Obviously easy enough to make myself, so I don't think I'll be ordering them again. But um, I like the color. They came in different colors. So this I'm probably going to put back here. I would put it on the front, but I have that there. So I'll put probably glue this back here to the back of the back sig last signature. This, these I got from Dollar Tree. Um, it's cute. I, I think it's cute with the duck and all. But I would probably, I'm thinking of... Uh, I could just leave it the way it is and cover that up with something. I'm going to have to cover it up anyway and make it a pocket somewhere, you know. Um, but I'd have to cover that up. Or I would trim it down. I think I would trim it down to here. I'd still have to cover that up with something to make it more square. I think I would just want the duck. I don't know. So that's what I'm thinking as well. And then... I buy these at the Dollar Tree, the these photo envelope things, and this is what I'm going to do with the brown card stock, and I'm probably going to do some kind of, maybe put something on here to flip it out, but I would put these, you know, I tape them down so that, um, for pictures, that's what I'm going to do with the brown. So I have that. And then I have these. I like I like the sunflowers. It's meant to go this way, but it could go this way too. I mean, who really cares, right? The sunflower. Probably put it that way. Make a pocket there. Perhaps. So let's get to going let's get to going like i said i know i want to put this back here 
question is, do I want to glue the whole thing down? A pocket and a pocket? Yeah, let's just do the three sides. Mm. This bottle that I have my glue in, I got from Amazon, of course. It came with all different size bottles and stuff. I was having trouble with the way I was doing my glue. A lot of crafters, um, I don't know if they still do, but there was a thing where they were using the Sweet Sugar Bell icing things for their glue and I tried that and I didn't like it. I even bought one of the very narrow tips and I, st I still didn't like it. My thing is, it, especially for the fabric fix or any type of glue like this, I'd want to store it upside down and especially with that I couldn't. So I just go back to that. And because of this, I, I had to buy the tips, these tips from Amazon. Uh, it keeps the, keeps the glue going. All right, so there's that. Now, um, I also have extra of these because I like them so much. I don't know if I'm going to put them in here or not. Let's figure out. I really was thinking about putting this here with some sunflowers behind it. Like we just, I just bought those stickers. Um, hmm. These together. Whoa, look at that. It's one thing about this stuff. seems to break easily. Decorating is the fun part. It can also be a difficult part. if uh, you don't know where you want to go with it, right? I think I might have said this in one of my older videos, is I just wait. The journal will tell me what it wants. It's like when I'm sewing with fabric or when I'm quilting. I have to live with the fabric for a little while so that it could tell me its story and tell me what it wants to do, what it wants to be. I know, sounds crazy. But I like the way that looks. But that's crazy me. Crazy Karen Jean. All right. So, hello. Hello. The reason why I'm kind of hesitating with this is because it's such a bright yellow and orange. And it's really not matching. It's not going. It's actually giving me a bit of a... Let me think... I liked the idea initially, but let's look back here to, the, well, this one is in the middle. We could do it here. That The brown tones it down some. Why don't we put it on here and what we got. Mm 
let's glue this down and we'll make it a side pocket, side tuck spot. So we'll glue down on these three sides. There we go. Okay. That one's done. Of course, it might have looked better with that card. And we could still do that. We could still do that elsewhere. I need to figure out what kind of washi tape I'm going to use. Okay, I'm back. I have these washi stickers of flowers, so I pulled them out uh, while this is sitting over here. I still need to figure out something to cover the spine with. I might just double this up and cover the spine with that. I don't know. I have this washi tape. I have this washi tape, right? I will have brown, obviously. I have some orange-yellow stuff here. Um, this one, I might need a thin one. I don't know. Some greens over here, but. And then I have all these with words and stuff. So let's see if I can get some of them out. You are beautiful. Well, one says, You are beautiful. Uh, make today amazing. Maybe that one. What is this one? Oh, happy day. Well, that'll be cute because it's going to be for um, the taping down the photo sleeves. You're my main squeeze. Stay sweet. Eh, maybe. Uh, okay, let's move those aside. Alrighty then. So let's put in some picture sleeves. What I'm doing here, I have obviously speeded through this. I'm showing you just a little bit of how I add the photo sleeves into journals. Basically, I've decided to use the masking tape here. It's a neutral color. You can write on it. And I'm just trimming it down. For some reason, I like to have the masking tape go the whole length of the photo sleeve. But later on, I realized that that's not necessary. So I just change that up a little bit. Right here what I'm doing is the masking tape is a bit wide it's hanging over so I'm adding the photo sleeve on the reverse side using that same piece of masking. I am back and I'm going to show you um, what I've done thus far with the photo sleeves. Also I did a little decorating here. I decided to put that as a pocket on the front there. Need to make some tags. I decorated a little bit. I have stickers. I have all kinds of stickers. So, so here is the one that I started with you. Okay. So it's just there on one side. And I put the picture sleeves on the 65 pound cardstock because it can hold the weight. Okay other little sayings and some decorating throughout raccoons um where are we and I have an idea of what I'm going to do with that I have brads and I'll like maybe put some ribbon some soft stuff there little hanging down things here's the other here's another one okay and this one has that card in it with the spot in the back 
and over here flips out this way okay this is not staying down so I'm gonna have to pull that one up and uh, well hold on a second I wonder if it'll stay down if I use some glue stick on it I know it'll stay down if I use some double-sided adhesive. Let's just see if we can get it to do it this way. And I will revisit that later to see if that decided to stay down or not. It could be because of the bend and stuff. Okay. Now, hedgehogs here. And the second one. And also, another reason why I trim these down is not only because of the bulk, but so that they can move easily because sometimes those bits get bent over. Okay. Cat. Why did I put cat there? Because there's cat there. Makes sense in my mind. This is what we've done. And this is a side tuck. So I need to make things for those pockets. This is the center. I still don't know what I'm going to do about the center there. I might just leave it. Um, I'll have to pull out a piece of that paper to see about writing. I also put in a couple of large sleeves. Five, so these measure five by sevens. So there's a couple of um, those in here too for five by seven. Little Miss Muffet. The sharks again. Little hedgehog. This one has fox. Um, that's a quick flip through. And here, so here's this thin piece there, just to give it a little color. And these stickers, because they're on plastic, they come right off. So, and this one flips open this way. And the sheep, how about black sheep, fox, because there's, and here's the other five by seven right there. Okay. And this flips out. And there's that, a grateful heart. So I think what I will do now while I'm trying to figure out what to do with the rest of it is put the front and the back on. So let me get my, all right. So let's get the back on here. It's gonna go this way. And I'm wondering if I should take off these metal corners off the back to be able to glue that down better. I'm sure there's... Maybe cover that up with something else. Okay. Um... And I think what I'll do is I will use, you know what? I think I might want to put a piece of cardstock between to strengthen this up a little bit. Okay, I pulled out a piece of cardstock and I cut it down to size. Here, I'm thinking... Hmm. Let me see, art glitter glue. Okay, I'm 
have that open. I'm trying to just give the back of the book a little bit more. I probably could have used something heavier than the cardstock. It's a very thin, you know, cereal box. So. Um, this one I'm going to have to use uh, the fabric, fabric glue because I'm gluing it down onto fabric. So, oops, not the one I wanted to do. This is a new bottle. Silicone glue. Get this all nice and gloppy. Although I'm putting the tip of the bottle right down on the paper so that I don't necessarily get big glops. Okay, this glue does string. All right. I'm going to cut something there and cover that up, that corner. Of course, I'll do the same on the back, the bottom as well. Um, okay, there's that on the back. And now this for the front, I want it over there. This one, a little clop right on the back here. And I'm gluing the whole thing down. I'm not turning these into pockets. I figure there is enough. The fabric tack and the fabric fix, they do dry quickly. This will grab. Mm. Let's just see. Bit of a messy bow at the moment, but yeah, but now it is starting to feel a bit heavier. Okay, I have to decide if I'm going to keep this as long as it is, or if I'm going to shorten these. Oh, shoot, I forgot to cover the spine. Uh, tag nab it. I'll just cover that with something. Okay. There we go. So here's the cover, right? And we have our flip outs with all these pockets.
Okay. Obviously, the recipient can always cut this down if they so desire. In the back, we have the large pocket. Okay, well, I'm not liking the way this looks. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to do something else with this. Cut it down. Cut it down myself. Well, there's the journal so far. In the next episode, we are going to be doing some tags and I'm gonna cover that spine so this is karen jean from ex libris crafts we are only limited by our own imaginations let yours run wild and thanks for stopping by